Let's see. So, uh, we're actually just about to get into it. Uh, so, let's uh, let's change the the thing to the Norn wastes because we're from Northern Ireland now. Uh -huh. So, let's see what happened last time. Um, oh dear God, a lot of things happened last time. Uh, there was a fight. It was a good fight. Party took some walks. They found Luna. They then found uh, this particular person who's... I can tell I imported this early. Half the, half the images are still in the book. Uh, I'm just going to delete this book now. Um, and pull up this book. Pop this book out. Tag it to the side. Scroll it down to the correct part. Find the name. You found this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. who was being attacked by some spiders in a manticore. And everyone's like, we got to stop this shit. And so everybody went in, all heroic like. Very quickly did Exodus realise, hold on, everything hurts extra. The world is spicy now. And immediately managed to get himself caught up. And then a slad came out of his, uh, his armour. And not too sure what caused that was very much a what the fuck type moment and then the fight became against four spiders, a manticore and a death slad. At that point there everybody realised we've got a problem and proceeded to start uh, fucking shit up as they do, turning into polar bears, turning into sharks, punching fuck out of uh, spiders, casting fire bolts, fire balls were thrown, people almost died at one point, a little portal opened up as we all thought Exodus was dying with Revel going, nah, 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 before a hand pulled Revel back to Faerun. Weird shit, man. Northern Waste. It's a place you don't want to be at any given time. And so, we kind of pick up immediately after that fight. The rain pouring down, the wash pulling away. The person passed out. Everyone doing surprisingly better than I thought you were. Um. What they just? Fane's gonna go over to Luna, give her a pat on the back, smile, thumbs up, as a thank you for saving my life. Oh, of, of he, course. I would assume you would do the same for me. As he can't speak. <laughs> uh, you can you can just give me a little nod. I assume you would give me the shit do the do the same to me, right? Uh, not 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 not. You just shake no. Did you say no or shaking, not? He's shaking his head yes. <laughs> he's shaking his head yes. Well, that's that's great. Then I'll do it again next time. All right. Uh, he's gonna uh, yeah. he's gonna uh, look at this guy on the ground here. Completely passed out. Like, you can tell you gonna, the, uh, Yeah. Okay. I can tell what. So you can definitely tell that it's been the panic that has knocked them out and not any wind they have sustained. Mm. He's gonna. Then he's gonna look at him for a second. Then take him by the collar and like smack the shit out of him. <laughs> so you're gonna start just pick this poor guy. Mm, 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 mm. Gonna watch the face start slapping away like that one part in the Deadpool game. Cause this is cause the player won't stop pushing the button. He's gonna watch the eyes wide. First one smack, second smack up, the eyes are wide, the third one just for good measure, the fourth one because, you know, odd numbers are a pain in the ass and we all know it. You're gonna look as they look up, breathing. What? What have I done now? Um, well, nothing. We. I, I just kind of speak for Fane, because I've picked up that Fane isn't able to speak. Uh, well, you were kind of passed out. You were surrounded by spiders. The spiders are gone. The manticore is gone, hopefully. 
Um. So yeah, we were kind of wondering what you were doing here and who you are. You know, watches the head, which is up, just kind of immediately falls to the side, looks at you as the eyes follow just a second later, like they're on lag. <sighs> I... I am... Um, Kleistrin. And... This... They're gonna throws his arms out before they then immediately fall down, dangling once more. It's my home. Northern West. Hey. And I will be the best adventurer here. One day, maybe. Soon. Explorer. Mm. Pending investigation. It, uh, who are you? And why Why are you here? It, we, we don't... There's not many usually, you know, people here and the people that are here are usually in one particular place. So having you here and people that I've not seen before, definitely something different. Hello. It's your look, it's uh, all new to him. Well, we were kind of heading to Harch Hollow, I believe. Uh, oh, there we go. Or to, um... <coughs> yes, to, to watch, to watch, uh, Heart Hollow, which I blanked the plane on where it is. Oh! Uh, what was the location again? I can get there. Ah, uh, he's kind of, must have been pain just put him down, he's in this line there. Just staring up at the rain. And, uh... I assume you are with the Callum and the forces, then? Sir, sorry? The... the army from Calaman. Yes, I'm what's up with... what's up with those? I assume you are with them, yes? Uh... are, are we... are we? Fang gives a thumbs up. I... we are, yes, absolutely, mm-hmm. Where's the rest of your village? Sorry? Where's the rest of your village? Well, we kind of travel alone, so we travel a little lighter, uh, I guess, uh, to, to not attract too much attention, to be able to move a little, a little quieter, you know? Oh. Blend in, if you will. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, nah. Yes, he's going to watch as he gets up. I had an almost absent mind, more than anything. Hot, hello? Uh, but before we leave, how did you even get in this mess? I scavenge for the community. You know, find stuff, use stuff. Uh, that's everything here. It's all manner of things from pre and post cataclysm. Well, how did you end up surrounded by spiders and manticores? Um, do probably the same way I've ended up surrounded by dragon elves before. They just don't like the rain. And spiders make the nests in all manner of creepy little hollows in the, and it kind of points towards the huge rushing river. This, you know, in there they'll make the things and the manticores as well. And when it starts to flood, they'll come out and it just so happens I also have to get out of there or else I'll drown. So I've got to make my way up. I go up, they come up, they come out. And then the next thing you know, I've got to run for my lives and I'm just a little bit too far away. And I really couldn't do much because that water really rose up quick. So you basically just did a fucky-wucky. Oh, yeah, under control. Like... Sorry? I had it under control. Uh, you passed out because of stress. I didn't look like that. Even we as a group kind of struggled to, to fight off the spiders. We might have spawned something else, but that's besides the point. I don't know where that other thing came from. So, you know, I doubt it. But if you say so, um, do you guys have anything else to ask him? And she kind of looks over to the rest of the party. Mm -hmm. You said what? Do you guys have any any other questions for for a good feller over here? Uh, are you happy with your current pharmacy provider? 
I don't know. No, I, I don't have anything. No, but they have been trying to contact me in regards to my car's extended warranty. Ah, uh, what's a car? Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, we have places to be. Where are you heading? I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm headed to Hearts Hollow, and from what I hear, you are too. So yes. let's all travel together. This is gonna start running off. Not to get away, but just in case you could tell this is the type of person that likes to run. All right, sir, are you in a hurry? No. Are you sure? Yes. You seem a little faster. Uh, we we aren't all that fast. Bane keeps up with like what seems like half of what he can move, <laughs> half as fast as he can move. Monks. It seems like a it seems like a light jog to him. As you travel a bit running, well. you eventually come to this rather weird looking place. A rather odd carving deep into a crater. You just start to move down. You can see all manner of patchwork tents and I was reading something there and lost it. Patchwork tents scavenged from all over and multicoloured lanterns and windows. It's a rather odd looking place. With the DM to read those straight away, he's not put on global illumination. <laughs> so as you start walking down the winding path, you do there. All manner of people start looking out, looking towards you, and some people seem to nod. Towards Clastron, Clastron, Clastron? Forgot the name. Clastron, Clastron. Everyone nods towards Clay. This is he, he kind of starts waving back, and eventually you see this middle aged woman. She looks a bit haggard, but she's definitely. Uh, Hearts Hollow, uh, kind of where you were headed. Woke up the crazy knocked out guy who, from last session. Zeus, come here, you see this older, haggard woman. Middle aged, but like lots of grey in the hair. And this nice long robe and these almost bronze eyes. These are very, very light, but brown. She does, she's gonna opens her arms. Hi, Strin, it's Yeah, I was worried. She looks almost relieved to see him. If they um these guys they found and helped me and uh, there was spiders and manticores and a weird thing, but I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. It's good. I'm good. My god. Kind of nods on and walks. The woman takes a step forth. Hello. I'm Nezra, but most people just call me Nez. And who might you be? All are welcome, but I'd like to know who we're dealing with at any given time. Uh, my name is Luna, uh, this is Fane, I think they lost their voice somehow, uh, and this is Melano. Oh. Pleasure. Why do you want to introduce me? 
Well, because I think you could do it yourself. The other ones are a little bit less talkative, so, you know. I want to give you the opportunity to, to, you know, give your own first impression. Fine. I'm Exodus. Legend. Who are your friends? And points to the armored male and the haggard, younger, yet somehow also older looking man. Oh, he gestures to uh, Renard. And he says, this is Renard. He is a... Uh... He like snaps his fingers a few times. He says, he's the only good... Are you a... Crown of the uh, Sword, or... What is it? He like looks to Renard. He's like, which... He's... I think he's a Knight of Somalia, but he's, he's one of the good ones. It's not a piece of shit. Yeah, looks... Please don't ever tell John I've done this. Sword. It's <laughs> <laughs> my best impression, right? It's, it's been two Ron years. Swanson. <laughs> Deron Swanson swore. <laughs> two years, right? Alright, I won't say shit. Uh, but no one. Had him on the back, and then the other one was Fane, right? Or who was the other one? Listen. Who? Clifton. Clifton? Oh, you can say this man. Uh, also, uh, real quick, out of character. What is Heart Hollow? Why are we here? I don't remember this from last session. It's where you were headed. The I thought we were headed to the... Safe um, space. The safe space? Yeah. This is a... So you've done the whole elven place, and you were like, Oh, well, where do we go from here? And Luna knew of this place, and so you're headed here to pick up on any leads for the city of Lost Names. All right, thank you. Sorry about that. I, I will. Um, there also, right now, uh, just for this session, just in case, I'll give you access to John Sheet again. You never know. Shit could go horrible. You could fight a dragon. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> love having access to an archie. No, no, but uh, he would go to Clifton. He would say, this man right here. Hey. That's for the gods. Ain't that right? No, Ain't I'm kidding. Right. I'm kidding. I've, li I've been listening. I'm just, I'm just acknowledging that, that I am the man right here. Yes. Well, um... All are welcome here. You seem to have no uh, qualms, issues. Please uh, make yourselves at uh, home and enjoy. You can come to and fro here wherever you need. I, I, um, I must depart right now. That something of mine seems to have been misplaced or stolen, and I'm just looking for it right now. I'm worry not. I'm gonna oh. pass in the shoulder and you know, start walking away. I, I what? Was, what did you lose? If I may I ask, that? I can help steal something back for you. It. It's fine. It's okay. I more than likely miss place. Don't worry. Well, um, since we are free in the city now, Fane's going to start looking for shops and liquidating assets. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna follow Fane. I love what liquid ass. Because this motherfucker has a lot of money, and I don't trust him not to pull some sneaky shit. <laughs> like sneaky shit, they imagine. He just gonna take all the money for himself. <laughs> As you go around, you do find a little signpost. You see. Breakwater Landing. Ends odds and salt lick each point in odd off directions. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, is, 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 it one, is it one place? No, numerous different places. 
I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? Numerous places there is Breakwater Landing. Okay. There is Salt Lick. And there is ends odds. Can I tell what kind of business these shops runs? Run. Um. Clifton okay. smacks his lips and says, "I don't know about you guys, but I could go for the salt look." <laughs> uh. So. You can very easily get the idea that ends odds, odds and ends, bits and pieces. You know, it's a quick jumping association to, you know, that's a fucking shop. You can make that assumption. I'm sorry, one more time, my brother walked right past me and started talking to me. How fucking inconsiderate am I right, guys? I know, right? The job store is very clearly a shop. Ed's ends odds. Odds and in, is, 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 odds ends, ends, okay. odds and ends, bits and pieces. You're like, ah, that's a that's clever word play. Okay. So you can you understand that that there be a shop. Mm -hmm. And the salt lick and the other one. The salt lick's a bit harder to get, you know, horses, salt lick, and the breakwater landing, uh, you know, like, what lands there? There's no water around. There ain't even a waterfall in this huge ass board tunnel. This is like a fucking, there's like a strip mine if you've ever seen like one of those, just a really thin one. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Ozanin store and see if they have any paper and pencils. You start descending and following through the fun colours of the floor, stake formed. You know, come off the woods and you see all these houses, all these tents, lights. Soon there are actual stone buildings that you can see, wooden ones, and you see off on this ledge, literal ledge, looking over this thousand foot plus drop, it's got to be, on this, what could essentially be classed as wooden pier, you see the shop, odds and ends. Oh. What have I stumbled into? Uh, I uh, I walk forward and I open this man's door and walk into the shop. You do. You see a hell dwarf, very much built for the scraggy cold. You know these guys are more southern based than your Qualinost self. It's I guess do this is paper and stuff here. I didn't make these maps. <laughs> oh, okay. I just I just assume well, so. I bought these maps, remember? Alright. I'm gonna Does he have paper in store? As you look around, you can tell that almost everything in this shop is Oh sorry. Damn it! <laughs> it's quite literally Odds and ends, for lack of better terminology. There's a little bit of everything here. Okay. So I'm gonna grab myself paper and a writing utensil, and I'm gonna go over to him. Yeah. Gonna walk over the. I uh, I give him a wave. Is it safe to assume that most items that are visible on, like, the tables are what's in the shop? 
I would run that assumption safely, yes. Uh, does, ah, fuck. He's just grizzled older dwarven male. It literally does not tell you whether or not it's a man or a woman. It says, I'll oh, pick it all. Oh, you look at the name. The name is nothing to go by because that's not a name. You don't call your child that. What's the name? Grandit. Grandit's a dude. Come on. There's no woman named Grandit. Well, you don't know about their gender identity. They might have been questioning it for a while. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Be fair, it's the Dragonlance book. It is very much a... It's very much a... Don't make these assumptions. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, I mean, they do do that in the Mythic Odyssey of Theros. That's different. That's fucking what you call it. That's, um... Magic of the Gathering? Magic of the Gathering, yeah. Completely different whole title thing there. Okay. You... No, give him a wave. Oh, hello. Hi. Um, and you are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little scribble on the paper. I that... will pay for this. I am using this paper to communicate, and I'm gonna slide it over to him. Yeah, looks looks fresh. He kind of looks over. I was gonna say, you break it, you buy it. But at least you've admitted you're buying it. Yeah, that was the first thing. That was the first thing I, I had to do because because it, it's a shop. Um, I'm gonna take the paper back. Um, I'm going to write down have some things to sell. Okay. We'll see um, what I can. Uh, yep. Yeah. What are you gonna afford? Just from just from Fane's sheet alone, um, stuff that Fane put in his pockets instead of, and the uh, thing, uh, the loot bag. He's gonna pull out a citrine, Citr a gold ring set with bloodstones, a moss agate, two polished obsidian, one pyramid made of silver, five jade. Uh, five gold nuggets. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> and that's all. Do you want to know something? Hmm? Do you want to know something? What? After this, we're not friends. <laughs> 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 I thought I was done with this, Big Jalen. Ah, uh, so I see. Uh, give me that again. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a fun like admin session, ladies and gentlemen. Five gold nuggets. Five nuggies. Five jade. Five of my X. One pyramid made of silver. One silver ancient aliens. Two polished obsidian. Two nether portal blocks. One moss agate. One cheap gem. One citrine. And citrine. Forget what that is. One. Gold ring set with bloodstones. One wedding band. With bloodstones? Yeah, I hate the bitch. Okay. One gold ring set with bloodstones. And that is it for Fane alone. Uh, if he, you know, seeing if he's interested in any of this, because party loot is just a lot, a whole bunch more of the same stuff. Okay, gotta make sure I get the right shops out here as well. <laughs> Having to bust into the dungeon of the Mad Mage stuff for this session. This, this is DMing. <laughs> I'll just slip this in and under the screen monitor. Ah, oh, it's getting too thin a bezel for that shit. Ah, fuck, you know what? Pop it here. As you start. 
pouring it out into his hand. If I assume correctly, the golden nuggets came from the very first part of the, um, what do you call it? Came from the first part of Tamal Chan, correct? Probably, yeah. Uh, mm. I have no, yeah, I have no idea though. I didn't give you any numbers for that, did I? Uh, there we go. So, uh, let's see, I'm gonna number these on my side here. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the silver pyramid I know came from Tamal Chan as well. So, what's the rest of you doing tonight? Um, I don't really have much to buy or sell or anything. Neither does melanin. Um, I don't know. Obsidian. Good, good, good. Anything I could use, I can think of. <laughs> uh, so I've got the numbers here. There we go. You know, watch as he starts to tally things up. You watch as your DM gets envious of Matt Mercer just knowing all these numbers. <laughs> Need a calculator now. <laughs> uh, give me a sec there, my guy. Um. <laughs> We're dog and duck and we're the best of friends and we'll be friends with you. There's a blast if anybody knows that shit. He watches. He takes a look at the information you have there. A good number. He runs it all over. But, uh, I'll give you maybe two hundred and twenty-two gold and five silver for the lot. Um, I'm gonna take a second to think it over and look over everything I have again. Uh, can I roll insight? Yep. This guy was that on. Oh, he does. Okay. Bruh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Bruh, it don't matter. <laughs> yeah, he's short, yeah. Short change in there for certain. Do I know by how much? An amount considered favorable to him for certain. No, it's, it's not a little. Um... First roll of the night, and it's a fucking nat twenty. Do do I think acting for three hundred would be breaking even for us? Do you? Mm -hmm. Uh, considering what we have here, I don't. I don't know. It's more favorable to him, but more favorable to him could be like fifty gold pieces. I only have like ten gold. What's going on here? Um, Fane's gonna write on the paper. He's gonna like think for a second. Uh, two eighty-five. Got a deal? Question mark. Um, you gonna watch the looks? What's that number on the paper? Two eighty-five. 
Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, uh, 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 I'm paying attention. He also writes, how often do you see Jade? Question mark. Jade? Jade is pure and green as this is. Oh! I fully thought it was a character. One of my other <laughs> characters. <laughs> Wait, are you, are you talking about the Jade Dust? Mm, no. I have Jade Crystals in my sheet. Ah, okay. Um, I'm, I'm only selling stuff for my sheet right now. <laughs> it's setting my six, so I'm doing... I'm trying to work out percentages, and I'm just not good at percentages. What percentage? There we go. There we go. See, looks at your offer. I see, I see Jade a fair bit, but... The gold... The gold is useful for something. As is the silver. So I... He nods. 285. 35 sounds good. He's gonna put out a hand for him to shake. Yeah. Shakes your hand. Remove all of that from your sheet. Add 285. I was trying to figure out just wh what I'd done. In terms of math. I added all these up. And I came up with... 445 gold. And I'm like... Alright. Consideration, he's probably gonna go for half. Because poor... So what was 285 is the total of the maximum? 64% roughly. Is that what I made? No, um, you got 64% of the overall value. Okay, that's not bad. I don't mind that. That's, that's, uh, that's me yeah. using the, the water deviant shops. The goblin shop is fucked. <laughs> yeah, I don't trade with the goblins. They they offered me like five gold, like two gold for something, and I was like, "No, are you good?" <laughs> like I'm not doing that. Um. Yay. Uh, I will go. Um, I'm gonna put up the gold seal, the gold seal as well, because he said gold was because I didn't trade that in our initial things. Just the gold nuggets. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna put this on. Put it on the table, and I'm gonna see if he is interested in it. I do have a page for that. Page thirty-two. Of. Uh, to mouth. To mouth thirty-two. Ruby, you were doing something whilst I do some quick math. Uh, whilst I look something up. Well, I was just trying to get, trying to sell my hunting trap for whatever it gives me, so I'm not over encumbered. Hey, uh, hey, Fane. Out of character, by the way. Hey, uh, you know, if, uh, if a normal item has a page to it, <laughs> I think it's about to explode. Oh, man. Uh, 32. 32. Yep, 32. Ah, there you go. No, uh, it's when it's got when it's got a page to it, it means I can then track down exactly how much it's worth, rather than having to bullshit some stuff. Is he gonna? I wait as I as I want. Oh. He looks at the hunting trap. Uh, even I don't know how much they're actually worth. Give me a sec. Don't you drugs? Cause I said. Don't you drugs? Looks at ya. Yeah. Uh, nine gold. Mm -hmm. Nine gold. So very useful. Um, how about we trade it for some rations? Do you do rations here? Aye. Yeah, we do some rations, aye. Yeah, uh, I'll, whatever the hunting tra get, trap give me in rations. Because our friend Fane here is a little hungry. Uh, he nods. Uh, 
Yeah, that's a, that's a deal. Yeah. Mm. Goes under and pulls out. A few little boxes, there's 18 days worth of rations. There we go, fuck that, and then... Uh... They didn't save me a single piece of weight. <laughs> <laughs> I... I hand it all over to Fane. Don't mind if I do. It's he's gonna push the... For you. <laughs> gonna push the uh, he's gonna push the gold seal over to Luna and point at her and point at him, meaning this is your negotiation. Oh, uh, how much did you say it was worth so I know where to start from? He's gonna... shrug. Um... <laughs> I also have this gold seal. Uh, I just... magic it. <laughs> with a little... She says with a little excited little give it like... Of course, you know. It's but like, uh... Like, of fashions. How much? How much would you would you say this is worth? You're gonna look shiny. Picks it up, starts investigating it. Pulls out a little slab, rubs it against the slab, pulls out some liquids, puts it on the liquids, and watches. Turns to you and goes, "Oh, I'm not too sure, but I've got a buddy. Do you mind if I call him?" Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, sure, go for it. I fucking love porn stars. <laughs> no. Dude can't do anything for himself, but he's got a mate that can do it. <laughs> so he get up, looks at it. 125. 125? Um, hmm. I don't think if there's anything I could use right now that isn't like stacks up and stacks of rations. Um, any suggestions on what I could use as a druid? I'd say charisma. Hmm? I'd say charisma. Charisma, charisma is always useful. Um, you don't seem to. You don't seem to have any of the spells that could help prepare. No, I'm trying to think of like items I could try to trade him with. Oh. For. To like upvalue it, but make it a trade so it doesn't seem as like direct. And he loses as much because it's like a weapon isn't a set value as gold. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to think of like, is there any items I could really use for, or maybe even for Melano? But Melano is already. Uh, do you uh, have any health potions by any chance? Hmm. Huh. What these gonna goes under and pulls out a big wooden crate of all manner of different sized potions from little red test tubes to this biggish bulbous jar with a clear liquid and a fucking what appears to be a rather large toenail floating through it. Ooh. Uh, Fane, Fane's gonna Fane's gonna write on the pa paper. Uh, how much for small vials? All of them. Each uh, each portion is fifty gold each. For these. How many does he have there? He pulls up these kind of test should be ones. He fits four between his fingers easy. You can see there's still maybe two or three more at the bottom of the pile. Fifty gold. Uh he's going to fork over two hundred. Okay. Um This is my math sheet today. Potions of healing to d4. You handed over 200? Mm -hmm. You're gonna hand them over and takes the 200 gold from you. Add uh, four standard healing potions, 2d4 plus twos, to your sheet. 
just like how I can just take off the two from the beginning of that number. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, how do I add that? Uh, on your sheet, see the three dots mm -hmm. at the top? Uh, I guess I do. Click there, click in Plutonium Import. Okay. Then click OK. Or Confirm. Okay. Then you see on the left where it says Items? Yes. Click Items, then in the bottom right click Open Importer. Open Importer. And then it should open up another window with a sh it should be a shit ton of plus ones. Uh, I don't see a crap ton of plus ones. Is it not opened up a secondary window for you? Oh yes, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, okay. Seen the, seen the big search bar at the very top? Yep. Type in uh, Potion of Healing. Or just type in Healing. You're, you're going to see every item in every D&D book with the word Healing, mm -hmm. if you are not specific in what you want. God. You've been, you've oh, been, no, it's not, it's not that bad. Just a uh, Potion of Healing. Yep, and then click the little play button next to it. Okay. And that will import it to your sheet. You should see like a little bar or something come up. Yep, it's on your Imported sheet. Imported Potion of Healing to Fate. Okay. Yep. And you can just close it down, it's under consumables, and you can just hover over it and add the prerequisite amount. So you bought four, hover over it, and then the little one change to four. One change to four. One stayed one, one, delete, one change to four. Ooh. Great. Healing um, potions, the only things that are the standard price. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you have any bigger size potions as well? Ah. Uh, for what? Healing. Got a. Got this one. Pulls out a rather large. You know, larger than the others. Bulbous type. So, uh, just one here. Be a We're kind of busy playing D and D. Um, what's up? Wait, what? What? What'd you say? See, brother, larger, more bulbous again, longer, bigger. You know, definitely what could be classed as a small bottle. Uh, three hundred and thirty milliliters, if you want to be very specific. Mm. Uh, and how much would that be valued at? Uh, good question. Oh, that's a particular one gonna, here. Ask him what it is first. But I want to be looking at a uh, mathematics, Matthew, because you've done your potions wrong. No issue. And what, what would be potion B? Would be a healing potion, I assume? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, 250. 250 is quite a bit. Um, what, what kind of potion is it exactly? Old. Hmm? Old. Old. But, like, do, do you know what it does? When you drink it? Um. Well, it heals you, makes you feel better. As for to what extent, uh, I would be unaware because were I to drink it, whilst I would find out, I would also be losing inventory. Yes, of course. And I get that. And that's why I'm a little cautious about spending 250 gold on it. Um. Because, you know, it's it's quite an investment, and if I don't know the efficiency, I might be losing a lot of money on this. So, how about we make a deal? The gold insignia, the, 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 the gold piece, and 50 gold for that potion. Give me a good persuasion advantage. Let's go! <laughs> 23! <laughs> uh, 
Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is it a good deal? Oh, sure. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah, yeah. I reach over the counter. I'm, by the way, I am about four and a half feet tall at this point. I reach over the counter, like, shake his hand, take the massive potion. That's a potion of superior healing to add. Now, Fane's going to write on the sheet next. This was all personal trading, but the party as a whole have a lot of valuables to liquidate. Should we take those valuables to someone else in the city? Or do you think you'd be able to afford it all? Let me have Question mark. Your, your healing starts flicking through your small essay. Well, I'm, I'm the only one, David. I'm, I'm the only shop. He's going to um, point over to Exodus. He'll handle the negotiations. <laughs> Wait, out of character, how big is this town? Do I know if he is actually the only shop? Like, is it is it like somebody like this is a huge town? There's no possible way he's the only shop. He is very much the only shop. Um, in terms of like, you know, g general good type adventuring gear, as all of the shops seem to either be in the side of the crater or hanging over the fucking edge. And um, there seems to be a lot more residents than there do business owners. Mm. Oh wait, we have like magic items and crap in here. We gotta wait. I mean, like, just, just for example, like... Uh, like, if this guy's, like, a general store type of guy, I probably wouldn't take... Can you name a general store that has plate mail just out in the open, mitt? A really good general store? <laughs> he has plate he has mail store. out in the open. Where do you have this? This ain't your Walmart plate listen, mail. This listen, is dude, I played in your dragon... I played in your Descent into Avernus game. A merchant with a carpet on the floor had half plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he also said he only had to make a living. Man's got to eat. <laughs> and this is like, you know, this is the be all end all here. You know, this particular guy. Everywhere else is very much a. And this particular place, everywhere else would be very much harder. I'm looking yeah. for a book, oh, yeah. I want to ask you. I want to ask you another. Whoa, whoa, ladies. One at a time. What? Okay. So, RJ, I think you were saying something first. Oh, I was making a joke and I said, wake me up when there's a kidney in a jar for sale. <laughs> wake me up. Wake when me September up. Ends. When I want to ask uh, a question as well. Yeah? I uh, go back to the paper and I jot down uh, the Kinder make a special bag do you know where I can acquire one? You. Oh, oh, oh. you fat, dirty bastard. <laughs> uh, give us a. Uh, it's called the bag of sharing. <laughs> the, the bag of put a horse inside and forget horse exists. The bag of that's not a dead body, that's my friend. No wait, that's the hole. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna. I need something better to lean on for doing shop math, as small boxes are considerably better than lanes. The box of the box of patron the, the box of the patron saint of turn out your pockets, turn them into a river of blood flowing through the city, a literal river. Let's see. Look at that. Five gold. Nine. 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 And one ring. This total was sorry. This total was four hundred and forty-five. 
Gold. Did you all take what, what gems I have? Uh, not yet. Okay, looks like we're getting down to that soon. Also, Fane's gonna go in the back of the shop, grab like a stack of paper and a couple more writing utensils yeah. and bring them back up. Wait, 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 wait. What are you gonna put on your head? Huh? What are you gonna put on your head? So I'm gonna put me on RJ for a oh. moment. Quick bim bang. Next up on the list was uh, so that's Fane sold. Fane bought. Four healing potion, and those were the two D four plus two variants for two hundred gold. If any idea is so tempting just to throw like the pound sign in there, but I spent two hundred quid. Next up on the list was Luna. Luna's traded. One gold seal four one superior healing potion. Yeah? Yes. One seal fifty gold one superior healing potion. And fifty gold. Times like this, I wish I was playing Revel so I can use distort value. Okay, so this here is the first order of business done. So you then start to get some more things and you bring in Exodus to start emptying out bags. Exodus! Yes, I wait. Hello, I have everything ready to paste in the chat if you'd like. I asked him. Uh, I asked him about the special bag that Kinder make, and you were like, "You motherfucker!" And I was like, "Ah." <laughs> As he looks really quickly, and he looks up at a big Bean? Sort of pizza pull down thing. <gasps> rips it down. Okay. And just just for comic effect at this point, you know. Okay. Candle keep, Icewind Dale, Waterdeep, Chol, Spelljammer. Also, you have a standing appointment for wound care, and um, until we figure something out, uh, for an appointment for wound care. Watch the pulls down a big map and just goes. Yeah. Points. Um, the thirteenth. There. It's a Monday. You can. Oh, he pulled down the map. Pulled down a big map and just pointed in one place and went there you see a small area all the way down to the south east north of Sylvaneste by a mere ocean you see written Kendermoor Hey, right. Was hoping you had one in stock. So I'd absolutely love to have one of those in stock, by all means. However, those are extremely rare, very hard to come by. And, well, the Kinder, you know, the Kinder have a certain quality about them. They like to, you know, pick up things and forget about them in their pockets and so trying to get them to trade their pocket would be very hard and I do not know where I could get one of these for you sadly sir if I do ever find one I'll potentially let you know okay and I need to fit like 12 maps back into this Anyway, I'm gonna give the hat off the Exodus, look through the store, see if I find anything interesting. Alright. 
Mm. By the way, uh, as a party, we are not selling the Balance of Harmony. The what? The Balance of Harmony. That's a, a portable detect evil and good. The scroll with the detect magic can go because it's a specialized detect magic. The right, the scroll of detect magic in a wooden tube is keeping, right? Who you said? Because it's specialized, and so is the modified well, the protection. Magic doesn't stay specialized in the thing, though. I, I don't know, man. I know the detect evil and good was uh, it's felines. Felines and feline whatever. Which I, I think we're good with that. Uh, what else was in here? I want to hold on to the crystal jug holding a silver powder. A crystal jug holding a silver powder. Oh, the balance of harmony is something else. I'll keep you some minutes. We can sell off. Of What's the that's, wooden, uh, that's the magic uh, item. The wooden, the wooden tube of the tech magic is something else. No, that's uh, that's just a that's just a spell scroll. I am more. All right, and then what the balance of the balance of harmony is a magic item that we just also, never put in our sheet. What, what else? What else are we keeping? Scottish. Nothing else. Okay. Oh, I'm we, sorry. We yeah. The uh, silver powder. Yeah. yeah. The the silver powder. Hello. All right. I uh, the uh, I say now pair okay. of, the pair of brown leather gloves with blue fingertips is a magic item as well. We hear you, RJ. Okay, making sure I making sure I can be heard. Um, yeah, I <laughs> have solved my Bluetooth issue. Nice. I'm very happy about that. Um, and I also have um, I have a sandwich that was not eaten because I was doing housework. I should have been eating it, and some thin crust pizza. Oh. I'm pretty happy. Silver idol in the shape of a bottle holding a clear liquid. I don't know what that is either. Okay, well, hang on to that, too. See the amount of shit... See what it does. See the amount of shit uh, that Fane has picked up that I've not realized until now? No, this isn't the party. Though. This is stuff we've all Fane picked up. Hands. But he would look to Fane, and he said, are you going to share any of the money that you're going to get from your shit? Uh... I pretty much spent it on healing potions. Aren't you, like, the second richest person in here? Fane, yeah. Fane is the richest. collects ahead. stuff when we aren't looking on our adventures, the most valuable things, and then sells them. I don't no. think he collects the most valuable things so much as he's the first person to say he picks them up. Yeah, that's... Probably. I didn't really. I, it wasn't the most valuable things. It was just like random. The things in party loot are more valuable. I when just I noticed had things. Twenty gold. You had seven hundred and fifty gold, and you were dead. Yeah, oh, yeah, but I something like that. I'm, I, I am in. Let me go ahead and check through my shit to see what I want to sell. Um, what I want to buy. I think but in chat now. You said what? Tell me <laughs> the B movie script. That is a list of everything I think we're selling, correct? You would yep, take that's off everything. The, he would take off the golden mask. It would be funny though because he has the disguise self up, so he takes off a mask and puts down you know, another mask. Yeah, puts down another mask. You want to laugh real quick? I once tried to send my girlfriend the B movie script as a text. Uh huh. Damn. Um, just absolutely refused to fucking send. Yeah, uh, I tried that one time. That probably on, saved your relationship, bro. <laughs> I tried that one time on an original iPhone SE, and it just turned off. <laughs> it wouldn't turn back on for a minute. It overheated and turned off. <laughs> Siri was like, "Hold on, fam, I got you. Hold on." See. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> Also, it has not been a day. Uh, I'm, I'm realizing, but that fish oh, yeah. sack. So that fish the, sack I was, was just selling. Say, the fish sack has no silver pellets because you I forced it down the, the tiger's, yep. the were jaguar's throat. 
<laughs> yep, yep, yep. I, that's Which just what was written down in there. I didn't notice until just now. Which one of you miscreants burned off one of my five uh, um, things from my five charges on the wand of lightning bolts? Because I was specifically remember there them being replenished and having five. Excuse uh, me. I think it was Jalen, but it was necessary. They were fighting a slot. Oh Jesus! Not only a slot, a death slot. <sighs> right. Which commanded death. Right, so the Emerald Dust, if I am recalling correctly. The Emerald Dust in and of itself is... Tamalchen. So, let's see. <laughs> nope, shit, Alice has made that shit up. Okay. Right, so, you done six golden statuettes, that's Tamalchen, yes? Yeah, this is all. This is all to Melchin. Jesus fucking Christ. Yes. Uh, also, you're forgetting. Of course, you're forgetting, forgetting something. Of course, I'm forgetting. No, not even. Uh, one sec. Let me grab it because he forgot it. What did I forget? Control. I don't forget shit. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. What did I Control forget? Control This. That's not on the sheet. Yes, it is. Look in, uh, look in party loot, and then go to party loot. I mean, there's loot one, and then there's loot two. Jesus fucking Christ! Why did you make a loot two? Because there was a second. There was the page was getting too long. It's right at his <laughs> end. Oh no! I, have I was never been able to scroll down before. Yeah. Did you so, did you uh, not so scroll down? Instead, no, no. Instead of hear me out. So instead of like moving the center mouse wheel like a minor click to the bottom to get all of that, now I have to move the mouse over and click loot too. Honestly, it's more effort. Did you get the twelve blue jasper? Blah blah blah. Modified. Yep, you got pretty much everything. And I'm Except for that last little bit. Yep, yep. I completely forgot those were there. Uh. Also, mm -hmm. hear me out, right? We have a gem dust, right? I think our wizard knows mending. <laughs> Does anyone know mending? Could we glue we back? We don't this? have a wizard. Our sorcerer. I think our sorcerer knows mending. Nah. 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 <laughs> nah, fuck. <laughs> oh, you could not have said that. That was funnier. Does anyone know mending? I have uh -oh. guidance. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I wish I did. I wonder if we could glue this gem back together from its dust. I mean... You could do you that. Mean, the the you sorcerer mean, has right. prejudication and minor illusion. No. You would need the, uh... You would need the rest of the gem, because you can only put stuff together. You need the rest of the gem. I, I would I would be willing to admit that depending on the gemstone, it might still have value to a jeweler. It's gemstone dust, is it not? It is gemstone dust. He hit it a bunch. Yes, it's, 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 Wait, it's, no, 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 no. Hold on. This was copied down incorrectly. Right? It's no, 500 it's... grams of emerald, some of which is emerald dust, and some of which came off in chunks. Right? I remember... No, I believe so. No I, I remember Exodus... To... Exodus had a, a chunk of emerald um, that he took from it. Remember the uh, he hit it and it was, it was the big chunks of emerald, and he, there was also some dust that came from it, and he collected the the dust as well. Jesus I thought Fane was right. Like that, but I think that's what happened, right? You dare say my penmanship is incorrect. Yes. Yes, He's, you're the party loot guy. I said I added to the party loot. He's the party yeah. clip maniac. There's a difference. Wasn't there like, yeah. like the the way we got the emerald dust is there was a emerald block in the way. You guys hit it and it brittled apart. There wasn't like we took a chunk off and then it brittled. It just turned into dust the moment we touched it. Yeah, it just turned into powder. It, right, it, 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 it was it was hollow and it turned to powder. That's it, right? Yeah. yeah. No, no. Right, I completely forgot that it completely just evaporated. 
Yeah, yeah it's like a Minecraft drop. <laughs> I'm nearly done. Like we just hit, like we just hit Emerald the Ore, bro. If Ain punched it hard enough and it went. went we just put it through the modded crusher. Yeah. I didn't know I was uh, I, I didn't know I was a max level away of the open palm. Yeah, no, I remember that I tried getting big chunks of it, but no, it didn't. <laughs> Man, it's been a minute. By a minute, I mean like what a week exactly. Let's see. So um, it was like my mental health from one minor inconvenience. You so gain the, the ability to get a lethal vibration in someone's body. Ah, oh, there we go. So, okay. Yeah, but it's still, um, it should still have value to be sold. Quite a lot of that, if the right, yeah, depending on the jeweler. I don't this know. Is the, hmm? This is everything that we have right now is quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, you should. He, he was, uh, he was, he was giving me like 250 gold for like gold nuggets we have six gold statuettes <laughs> we might want to uh we might want to uh walk a little bit uh we have wait, 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 we have six gold statuettes we have one golden mask bro you get like you i'm looking at these numbers right now all right i am i am fucking scared we have hey, 600 I mean, uh, here's a bigger question who the fuck burned off my blessing <laughs> <laughs> Take a guess who done that. Go on, guess. I don't know how this is going to like relate in like in game, but I feel like I should have deserved compensation for some of this shit. <laughs> We're probably gonna take a a nap before, you know. I mean, we better take a nap, and maybe you will finally hold on. change my stuff. Charges bro. this shit on a nap, bro. Long rest. Not a nap. On a long, long rest, rest, bro. Come down. Compensated. Oh, I'm uh, not gonna come though. Compensated. My spell slots are missing, and we're in a safe town, which we're probably staying in for most of the session. Nigga, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much should I miss? I'm not even really mad about it. I'm a little pissed, but I wasn't really mad about it. I was just joking. That's the fifth time in two years someone said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this, guy's a, this guy has a tally on his N word. Because every time someone says it, it's just so unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Fair, yeah. Like, I'm not actually looking to like get money from the pool from this. I'm I'm just joking. I mean, no, you like, will. Money. You're getting money from the pool for this. Yeah, because you know I was just still traveling with with this for a minute. You, yeah, you, you went through the entire dungeon. The only person who probably won't get money from this is like Luna and like Renard. Because yeah. Renard has a thing against stealing. And well, I mean, we didn't steal any of it. Yeah, I'm getting <laughs> skipped. But, but, it it kind of uh, is great we'll, robbing. We'll still, toss, we'll still toss Luna some coin. Right, but this has oh, been party shit. loot for like the past, like, like how many sessions? Well, 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 in game time, it's like a past week, right? So there's five jade statues now. Yeah. Um, four jade rings. <laughs> well, 19 I mean, coins. I've got four jade rings, six jade earrings. So what I'm hearing is half plate is on the table. One agate. <laughs> so let's see. Yes, for a druid. I'm already wearing shamel, so. What the fuck? Well, how are you, we had a discussion about this. Nail? Because metal is, like, druids prefer to not wear metal, it's flavor, it's not a rule. It's totally a rule. No, it's 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 flavor. It's like, hey, they prefer not to wear metal. No, but... I mean, you can't, I thought you couldn't wild shape with armor. You can. Are you sure it's four jade rings? Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Cool, got it. Right, no, never mind. I copied them down as you were saying them. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, um, the mission is amazing.
Jade. Nearly done? Yeah. Jade ear. Oh yeah, jade ear re so not jade earrings, it's jade ear plugs, but earrings does sound a lot better than plugs. Mm. And then I get Imagine your wife's engagement ring used to be jade earplugs. Right. Okay, that's where shit gets real fun. Still smell the tribal earwax on. <laughs> Oh wait, no, not, not that kind of ear earplug, earplugs. I'm just not realizing gauge piercings are a thing. You mean like these things? Coming. Yeah, I forgot those were a thing for a minute. You've known me for how long? <laughs> you wear a headset. The worst part is I want them right. and I have been wanting them since I was a kid and forgot. I did. It's so fucking painful. Yeah. Take it from me now. It's so fucking painful. It's worth okay, it. No, no. Like, I've got my hand tattooed, so you know, but like, the bleeding from the ears and the having to turn it constantly is whew, no amount of lube. Oh, you got that done all one go. You got a punch. No, you can, you can punch. You can get a tapered cone and you push through the tapered cone and everything's fine until you get to the plateau. Because see, once you get to the plateau, it's a wall. You got to push through a wall, and you push through the wall, like, you risk tearing your ear, and if you tear your ear, like, you gotta keep this little thing in, your ear's gonna be warm, it's gonna be bleeding, you gotta keep this thing in, you gotta turn it every so few hours, um, good luck wearing a headset or a hat, and then, after 24 hours, you gotta take it out, clean the ear, clean the plug, clean the o-rings, and now with your very swollen ear, you need to push that thing back through. Take the pain you endured doing it, multiply it. Eventually, you eventually you'll get to the point where you've got a big enough hole that you can get a plug and you can roll the plug up into like a circle and then put it through and just let it slowly expand and it's a lot better. But like the initial, the initial first five millimetres Painful as fuck. I think I just took one of the funniest part psychic damage listening to that. You want to know what the funniest part of all that is? And you're about to take some more psychic damage depending on how you feel about this? That is painfully similar to the process of sizing up uh, uh, butt plugs. Why? Well, the problem is <laughs> no, I do Why do you know that? I was stunned for like. I can tell you many answers there. to that. None of them are the one you want. Let's see. Um, and she was too stunned to speak. I want to die a little bit more now. I needed the badge of wisdom save to not be stunned there. Just checking one final high heights. Go through an extra zero one there. Yay. Right. As he starts looking through all of this, he puts aside three items. Out of the lot. He puts aside three. We'll get to that in a minute. And then pulls out this 40 odd fucking abacus. So six times. Mm-hmm. Christ Almighty. <laughs> Your passive insight is tingling. Uh oh. Oh god. Someone give me 19 times 5 real quick. Uh, 195. Thank you. No, 19, 19 times 5 is 95. Sorry. Cool. Take away 100. Simple. Quick math. 
And then one second. Um, before you before you agree to anything. Not agree to anything yet. We're just, us, we're just doing mad. Now I'm talking here. to I'm talking to Exodus. Yeah. Because if Scottish is thinking like the business keeper, the number that he's gonna give us is something different than the actual value. Oh. So I am going to whip out a calculator whenever he gives us said number. <laughs> He's gonna be like, I don't have enough money to pay for all this. At least shop to go to get a loan. <laughs> now, all, all my all my shopkeepers are flush. Don't worry, they're flush. <laughs> Maybe not after this interaction. Okay. And see, looks at the fuck the three items that he knocks over to the side. And he goes, "You sure you want to sell these three items?" What did he push over to the side? The, the dagger, the rod, and one of the. Th one of the six jade, one of the five jade ring, four, one of the four jade rings. Could I? Um, uh, Rebel's gonna I, scribble down on the paper. Magic you? question mark. <laughs> Exodus. Yeah. Um. Exodus. Didn't. Uh, doesn't Renard have to detect magic? Yeah, we have a scroll with it, but he's uh, we're selling it to him. No, no, but I thought Renard had. Detect magic Detect. just tells you if there is magic. Right. Good. I. Can I, I didn't that? That it is. Or is that ten minutes to cast? Or um. The that... de detect magic. I think just detects all magic, like, in area. Right. I just want to know. Like, I just want to signal Renard. I feel like we cast the detect. Do I know if these things are magical or not? Okay. So detect magic. Um. So you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object that bears the magic, and you learn the school of magic. So you can technically you can, see if you can do that, or you can just ask the guy in front of us, "What does he think they are?" Because he's giving us a chance to go like, "Hey, we don't want to sell this," and probably tell us what it is, instead of just buying it for cheap and like you know moving on with his day. Because we're just thinking it's a silver rod. Yeah. Actually, you know, it wasn't yeah. silver. I just wanted to know what school was. <laughs> so let's just ask the guy what it is first. You know, you're doing a lot of talking for someone who can't talk. <laughs> I was about to say that. This is, this is, out, of, this is out of character. No, oh, okay. All right, that's because different. all of our all talk right. so far has been out of character. Right. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, clue that in then. Um, but no, I trust me. I play a mute character in another campaign. It's so fucking funny. Um, uh, is he look say what? What are? What do you think these are? As he looks and he grabs them, and brings them back into the pile. Ah, uh, two thousand and sixty-seven. Of a lot. Do I even not have kind of gonna like this to know that's complete bullshit? What was that? It was, uh, oh. The Exodus do first, Linusek and it, Jathard. Do I even have to insight this to know that's a complete bullshit? Can if you want. Yeah, I'll, I'll insight this. Let's see it. Um, I have a course of action oh. I'm gonna stick with, but I want um. I'll give you it with I'll do it as previous. I'll give you it with advantage. Okay, do it as previous. I should have said prior. Thank you. Why would he lie? Why would he lie? Why would he lie? That's a very simple question, considering who we're talking to. <laughs> he didn't lie, he didn't tell us the truth. I asked him what did he think they were, and he just said, 2067 for all of this. <laughs> That's like a very... Why, why, would, he, why would he rip you off? You, you, you know, 
He's got to make it. He's got to make a Man's got to eat. Man's got to eat. Man's got to eat. Exactly. Man's got to eat. But like you know, he's been fair. <laughs> he's been kind. I'm. I'm so he, 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 gave, he gave you a chance. You questioned that chance. You know. He's gonna. Say, Exus is gonna say, "All right, let's cut the crap." You are really only interested in these three items. No, no, I'm interested in it all. I just thought you'd be more interested in these ones due to their markings, but seeing as you're not, you know, they can come in and they've already been taken into calculation. What do you mean they're, they're markings? You're gonna, it's gonna, gonna, shitty you're gonna look, at, look at the things and turn them over like, what are they, what are you talking about? <laughs> they, they, they the outer ring? The ring kind of has a sort of bird motif. The rod, the pole, the exact word he's used that I've forgotten. It has this feathered like pattern up and down it. It's very quite light, but doesn't sound light. And the dagger, as you look at it. Ah, uh, well, you've held enough plus one daggers to know what a plus one dagger looks like. Okay, so what we're gonna do? How long is that rod? Um, is it is it more quarter staff or is it thirty centimeters? It's, it's about a foot long, but but not a about subway a foot, foot long, an actual foot long. That's what's okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put those put those items to the side. Thing is, not gonna say anything. He's gonna put those items to the side, and he's going to put his hand over one side. Now, you said I could handle this, and then proceed to not yeah. let me handle this. Notice that. You said what? This is fucking annoying, man. <laughs> and I know this is completely accurate as you said. He just turns to the uh, the thing. He's like, "Let me handle this. I know, probably not to sell those items. Besides the dagger, we we really don't need the dagger. We don't need the dagger. We don't need the dagger. We can move the da you can move the dagger back. But he said, "We don't know those. We don't know what those are. And while we're in town, we'll do more research on them and get back to you." On you a put the dagger. A you put the dagger back in the pile. He looks. Two thousand and fifty-seven. This mother fucker. He looks over to Fane. He says, "He only offered us ten. I, he looks over at the other. Can I? I can't insight check him, but I know. Something is up, right? It's either there's something else in the pile that he wanted us not to get our attention drawn to, so he drew our attention to other stuff. Potentially, maybe. I have no idea what would be. No, why would they, why would he draw attention to begin with? To make us think there's anything value in there. Anyway, that's, that's what you, um, do. you draw, that's... draw people's attention to the wrong thing. No, it's just they have that even. They have just a nice pattern. Attention. They have a nice pattern, and you know, wanted to give you a second chance to maybe reconsider due to their, you know, these very clearly old patterns and probably older uh, relics. Yeah. I don't know if you're collectors or anything. You know, you, you've given me all manner of things, including this dust, kind of places the emerald dust down, a ton of rings and earrings, and then, you know, uh, another ring. And the Roy Rod, feathers and a bird, and then, you know, a dagger. Now, I look at yourselves, and I see that you are a well outfitted outfit. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know how to take care of yourselves. And therefore, I feel that maybe the dagger here was maybe a mistake. Maybe got caught up in everything. And as I was looking through it, you know, that's a nice rod that may have some cultural significance to you. I see you wear a very particular armour there, so say no more. Say no more. And therefore I felt that maybe this was something that may have also belonged to you or your friend here who I can 
you know, very much tell. He's a man of the earth, salt of the earth type of guy. But you know how sometimes the people of the earth like to fly. And so I thought maybe this was his also caught up in the... But if that's not the case, that's not the case. It's okay. You never know. I'll just take these and give you your 2,067 gold. No, oh, no. Hold on. no. I'll move these. Uh, these are already separated. I'm just... Confused on your generosity. Good sir. Where we're from, people fight tooth and nail, and you're showing us a great kindness. If I told you what this was... I told you this was all a hundred percent worth minus my profit. You would not be calling me generous, sir. I'll tell you that right now. Man's uh, got to eat. While well, you guys are talking, Luna kind of just picks up the bracers. 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 Yeah, the bra bracer. Uh, oh, bracelet. Fucking, I can't fucking read. <laughs> 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 um, I start. I, I well, she's taking pics with the bracelet anyway. I, I say, Fane. I think that we should wait till we get back to Caraman, Kachaman, to sell this stuff. Because, as the man has said, these are cultural relics. Right, uh... Fane goes... Definitely more money. Fane goes back to the paper and writes just one word. Exiled, period. Do you not remember? We weren't really exiled. He rolls his eyes. Socially exiled. Period. Socially exiled, but we're both shapeshifters. We're both, you know, we can disguise ourselves. What's no? He's what's exile he's, he's not a shapeshifter. That was Raffle. <laughs> that was Raffle. Clifton's gonna look over at you two and ask. I'm sorry, exiled. Why? We're not exiled. Um. Wait, who is shapeshifting? God. All right. Um, he would turn back to the merchant and start putting the stuff back in party loot, he said. I think we're gonna hang on for now. However, I will, uh, look around and I will buy something, uh, of notable value as to not waste your time. And he would notice the Cherimash armor, and he would tap it, and it would turn to his regular, uh, sort of white robey and golden armor appearance. Duh. What would you, uh, what would you be looking to buy there then? Uh, how's everyone doing on rations? He would ask as he would. Uh, look around. Uh, anyone need uh, new armor? Uh, I could use an upgrade if we have some spare I think money. We should, I think we should take his uh, offer for like. The rest of the items, but for as for what he set out, we should go ahead and study it more so we know exactly what it is before we uh, get rid of it. I mean, because I'll, all the rest I'll, of it is just like jade. That's a lot. Jade is the most expensive metal. <laughs> I mean, jade isn't a metal. Gem. It's not the metal. I meant gem. Jade, jade is the most expensive gem. Like if you look up, like the pricing. I mean, would would you like to know how much? I'll let you know right now. Would you like to know how much each jade earplug was worth per plug? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, the earplugs. Per, or earplugs. Per plug or earring. Uh, each set. So that's two. Was worth fifty, meaning one was worth twenty-five. There's a lot more expensive gems in D and D. There are. The citrine like, is worth more than the jade. I thought, honestly, I thought uh, I got the a jade mixed up with a piece of jade. In real life, jade is Which, just a stone. No, no, I got, I got mixed up with... So there's like jade and then there's a piece of jade or a chunk of jade, which is like two completely different items, but one's worth 100 gold and one's worth like 5,000 gold. Mm -mm. I think what he's offering us is kind of close to the actual value you can probably push it to 300 i'm sorry 3000 maybe 3200 safely and him still making a decent profit and we are still being in the green i'm saying we're not we don't need the money right now 
We don't, but we do I need do. the supplies. You're not in this. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, pardon me. But, uh, well, then again, that's if we're ever going back to that city. Once again, socially. City at some point. So you think we should try our luck there? And... I think we hold on to it for a bit until we leave this area. Okay. Was he, well, was he saying the silver rod was a part of elven culture? Just old culture in general. Um, I want to, if you guys don't mind, I want to take it and study it. Of course, as I will the emerald ring. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, silver rod, silver rod. But, no, no, rash. I have a question for you guys. Silvery looking rod. Okay. What's up? Did you guys go back to those elves? Where we got yeah, we did. after the dungeon? Okay. They, uh, they were there when we got out. They weren't really interested in anything we had. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just worried about fulfilling our, um, like, my part of the bargain. I think we did. Yep. We still they asked. Uh, how much is it per ration? Five silver a ration. And how many silver and gold? Ten? Yes. So, if I take... 20, let's just, I'm just gonna put it to my inventory to see if I can carry 20 more rations. 20 rations is 40 pounds for some reason. Okay, so 20. I will give, what is it, 10 gold? Mm hmm. Uh, for 40 rations. I mean, not for 40, for 20 rations. Yep. Um, I'll ask if anyone else needs rations. Um, I, no. I'm still sitting at 10. I gave Fane like 18. Alright. I have 10 still as well, I think. Um, should we do more than. Should we have. How much should we have each? Right? Because we, we are traveling a, a while, but we do have an army near us. But we do get Sinan? separated off. Tell me there's an army coming to town. No. Not. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> he would, he would, he would, he would nod his head a bit. He would shake his head. He would say it's not like that. Um, well, I highly doubt we're being invaded, but. Right. That's custom. We're just. 3,000. 3,000 what? For the lot. I stand to make a lot more profit now. So, I can stand to offer you a bit more. An army needs food, it needs supply. And I'm the only shop in town. Okay. Um, out of character, just so I know, the ar is the army coming, coming to the city? I just don't want to fuck this dude over. I would, yeah, I would. Have it. If right. you if, if yous are going to treat this place like a home base, they too would. Not like an occupied right, no, force I, I, home base. They didn't want to get. If they didn't want to like come all the way into the city. They're going to stay some point out. I just didn't know if we talked about that before he came here while I was gone. Uh, but he, hearing that, he would look to Thane, and Thane has a bit more eye for money. Does that sound like a reasonable price? Was it was it three thousand? He said or two thousand? Yes, three thousand. Three. Thousand? Does that sound like a reasonable price? What's yeah. happening? Um. So, guys, I just mentioned that they, the army is coming. Mhm. Mm um. And the man what said we, that. What are we selling willing, now? He'd be willing to go up to, uh, three thousand gold, for the lot. Uh, minus what we said we were removing. I don't think that has been mentioned to watch his shopkeeper yet. It has not been mentioned, but if Fane raises that concern uh, on written paper, uh, Exodus would ask, he said, uh, would uh, you give us 
time or uh, allow us to those three pieces with the markings. Two pieces. Two pieces. The third one was a yeah. The third one was a plus one dagger. You say, could we look over the the two pieces and investigate them before uh, selling them to you, or if they have some sort of uh, cultural value to our respective people, we may decide to keep them. Could I, could I maybe try on the bracelet? It looks very pretty. The jade bracelet? No, 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 the bracelet of an unknown metal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, does it fit my wrist? Yeah, it fits your wrist. is actually quite cold to the touch as well, this particular metal. Um, it looks there. Aren't you a druid? Yes. <laughs> it's flavor. We already talked about it. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's flavor. You... Flavor. I'll make sure it's not. So many fucking bracelets in this particular one. I know, right? Is you kind of put it on? Yeah, the bracelet's nice and cold, but it does heat up fairly quickly to your skin. Uh it's got to be a good check for this, right? There's got to be, surely. Uh, what? What's happening? Give me, give me just a, an intelligence check. Because I, I don't think it come under as survival or anything. Just call it straight intelligence. Oh god. <laughs> it's a uh, nice metal. Uh can I can I keep this guys? Uh, would you, I, I look over to the shopkeeper. Would this affect the the amount of gold our party would get? Much? You know, leans over and starts moving some bits on the abacus. That was those three. Two thousand seven hundred. Oh, those two because it's not the plus one dagger. Oh. Two thousand six hundred and fifty. Two thousand six hundred and fifty. I mean, we can put. Was was he offering Did one thousand? You... I'm sorry, one hundred gold for the plus one dagger. Why are we giving you fifty gold for taking the dagger? Well, no, he's haggling. Could you rephrase your question? You. You said. Uh huh. 2,700 two uh -huh. for the lot minus those four items. Mm -hmm. And I said we didn't want the plus one dagger. And oh, you you're, sell, you're, you're, you're still selling me the dagger. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. And I, that's, that's, that's on me. 2,700 fun. I still stand by. He could do, do he could stand to do a bit better. But if you don't want to press it, we won't. Sorry, mommy, I thought, Listen, we're I thought, okay, we're taking out a good few items, and the items we're taking out have some interest behind them, and I think that is more than fair and reasonable. What do you think, Fane? Um, sorry, another guy called me. Uh, restate. What's that? Another guy called me. Can you say what you were saying again? Oh, um, was it 2,730? 2,700 firm. Firm? I, yeah. uh, I slide another, I slide another, uh, plus one dagger into the, the pile. 2,710 firm. <laughs> I don't need two of them, Paul. Okay. Well, there's an army coming, so they might need he was, uh, daggers, you know. What was he? What was he offering us? Three hundred gold for that bracelet of an unknown metal. And the other two things you guys pulled out of the pile, like the rod, and uh, I already forgot what the other thing was. I think the Rank. bracelet of unknown metal and what a, it was interesting. I was curious about the interest of unknown metal anyway. So I feel like that's yes, that's fair. Three hundred gold for those three things. That's. That's fine by my books. What do you think? 
I'm you might come back to sell these yeah. items back anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Two thousand seven hundred, and we're splitting it between. It's a flurry right now, correct? No, so what? The gang back. I mean, <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. We're. It's on. Who's the party again? I'm kidding. Oh, we got Thane, uh, Melano, Renard, Clifton, Exodus. That's the well, like main five, right? Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's the old. That's the that's the recent party, right? Mm -hmm. And then that's Luna's really the new addition, awesome. right? So yes. I think we split it five. We split it five ways with the party, and then we take like a cut from each of us, like maybe twenty five or however many gold we get. We take like a small cut from each of us and give it to Luna. To oh, I'm more than happy just keeping this bracelet. It sounds very expensive. Yeah, but that's fine. Um. So we can sell that to him. Each party member gets 540 gold pieces. So hold on. So 2,700 farm. Rated by how many? Five. Five. It's 540 gold each. Yep. So, uh. Is that long? Tech, hold on. Uh, I will. I'm going to keep track of some gold on here as well. Just so I know, it's not going to be as bad as the Dungeon of the Mad Mage gold tracking, which is absolutely <coughs> fucking nuts, pardon me. I uh, mean, if you guys really want to spend some money, I could use some half blade, but I know that's quite expensive. <laughs> I, I, ain't even given, I ain't even giving Exodus half plate. No, I know he has I mean, half plate. There's plate here, there's probably half plate here. How much is half plate? 400. Don't, don't you tell me what my shops are worth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> rules is written 400, gold? sorry. Sorry, how much gold are we adding to uh, ourselves? Uh, yeah, it's 540 gold. And then you can rock up however you need by, like, you know, <laughs> power platinum and gold and shit. Um, I guess, like, 54 platinum overall, so not anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not 777 gold. I cannot change this amount of gold. <laughs> I'm at 630 gold and 70 platinum pieces. Oh, you just so, have 70 platinum just laying around. It's in session, I do. It. Yeah. Well, maybe you can buy me for half light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fane, you should buy the half light. Come on, Fane. Yeah, you're Fane right. Didn't, Fane didn't say that. Fane, you know, cause, cause Fane doesn't you know. say shit. Yeah, but Fane doesn't know. say anything. But we know. <laughs> We, you were dead. We, we know. We your body. We know. I, I hear your coin purse wrinkling <laughs> with a sound I'm very well aware of, as I'm a very perspective, perceptive person. You hear the coin purse jingling, lingling. Mm hmm. I know my jing. I, lo I, I know when it jingles. How much? It depends. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll buy it for you, but how much is half played in this shop? I'll ask, ask the person that knows. The shopkeep. Have you made, have you made, have you made your want for half plate known? Uh, well, while we're shopping, like, this price is very nice, but I also could use some, some, some half plate for really, you know, we've gotten quite a lot of money. Uh, my armor is a little, not really most suited for the, the, the roads we seem to be heading on, seeing as they're, Recent encounter doesn't seem the most sturdy. Okay, so I write on the paper how much for the half plate. Oh man, you have no idea the massive Google document shop that I have, by the way. I'd like to point that out right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's fucking huge. It's color coded. Oh it's no, we have a nerd here. Is it per setting? Is it per setting? Yeah. No. No, no, no. Uh, this, this is my first ever 40 into Dragonlance. I built this for Dungeon of the Mad Mage. This is still in version 1.1. 1. 1. 
half half plate wow. simply put just not on any of these because uh, the dungeon them at me. Ah, they find so much stupid shit. One hundred and twenty-four platinum pieces in my sheet. Ninety gold pieces. Checking. That's, uh, <laughs> that's only because I want to keep some gold on me. Hey. Oh, I thought there's a huh. I thought there's a prerequisite to that. There, I'll be honest. I'm thinking of one other. It's heavy. Heavy yeah. armor needs a fifteen strength for plate. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can transfer sixty. See, means then. So one thousand five hundred. Not not full plate. Yes. Oh, that's quite a lot. We're in a desert wasteland. This is mm -hmm. this is rare stuff to find in a desert. Wasteland. Gems are everywhere. It's still this alive! Yeah! Damn it, Jalen. You is, said what? I said, it's damn it. Well, what about what I do? Whoever is screaming interrupted me. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Skillix. This is a. Uh, this is real stuff here in the desert. We have to scavenge for most of this. You just coming in here and giving me this is, you know, that's good. You know what's have, you, have, you, have you noticed how none of you have traded me armor? But you were happy to trade me weapons. I've got you weapons know everywhere. Yeah? You know what's hilarious? What? I, I am... 200 gold away from being able to pay for that. Oh. <laughs> oh, but if, if it's that expensive, please don't spend that money on me. That is... That's way too much. I'll... I'll suffice. Jingling. Um... Is... Is this useful to us anymore? Is what? I'm, I'm just... I'm just... Curious. Fane's going to put... Uh, a, pl a platinum sheet. Hey, uh, real quick, my dog just ran away and I gotta go get him, but I do want to buy some stuff and hopefully I can when I get back. I'll be right back. Run, boy! Um, run! He's my going to put a platinum hand mirror on the pad, on the uh, table. Uh, mirror. and. Mirror of the past? This is the. Yes, yeah, this is the mirror of the past. I want to see. Uh, he's gonna write on the paper trade for, uh, uh half plate, question mark. God, you really are gonna give the new party member that you barely know off plate. I'm sorry, how much do you say the half plate was? 1500 gold. Uh -huh. For half it plate? Yes. I'm bad. I'm better trading items than money coming out of my pocket. I mean, um, I also have my old armor for offer, you know, because you said nobody offers your armor. Uh, scale mail. It, maybe that will help the price. That doesn't uh, so I think mirror, mirror of the Past is directly linked to that. There's no. So take him, takes a look at it. He holds up the mirror and looks at himself. As he does, looks at this, looks at himself. I'm gonna start to admire himself for. He watches his face, kind of contorts a little. You know, blinks and takes back and you know, places it back oh. down. Did he use it? <laughs> you, 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 you simply think of a target. He looked at himself thought, damn, <laughs> I look good. So he, he thought of himself while was holding it. He's gonna looks and scratches <laughs> his head. So he brought me a mirror. It's 
something. One sec, my brother's showing me something. What? So you just love when the two people in the middle of the roleplay have to leave. Isn't that like the best thing ever? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, way, way. Get on my name. Anyway, um, okay. He looks, you brought me a mirror. It looks uh, like quite fancy. Uh, Fane's going to write down on the paper. The mirror has certain properties that I am well aware of. Uh, shows you the past of any, uh, shows you the past of any, anything that you have on your mind. It can be you, it can be the dog down the street. He packs up once more and looks at it. He uh face. he writes on the he writes on the paper once a day. His you know, face contorts and after a minute kinda of puts it back down. Well I can't confirm that now, can I? Every time I look in the mirror I see myself and I think of myself and I think about things. Um You trying to deceive me, sir? Uh Fane writes on the paper, I would never. I have nothing to gain in ruining, in ruining a good business partnership. I tell nothing but the truth. I've watched you lie numerous <laughs> He doesn't know that. Gee. Let me run a game of passives. But that's literally what this mirror does. Yeah, he but when, when he's when he's picked it up and looked at it, he's looked seen himself. It's acted like a normal mirror to him. He picked it up before he knew the properties. Oh, did he? So he didn't use it. No, he did. Yet? He would have used it because you look into it, think of something. He looked into it, saw himself, thought of himself. Then he learned the past of himself. It showed him the past of himself. It would, have, it would have shown him the past of himself. You know your own past. Yeah. Yeah, and he's a dwarf. They're good with that. As he looks and he looks at it and looks at you. I'll give you ten gold for it. I don't feel you're lying, however. If tomorrow this thing doesn't do what you say it will. I will hunt you down and you will give me nine gold pieces back. Fane shakes his head and takes the mirror back and he writes on the paper, I know of no item outside of high level magic spells, which he probably would. Actually, he wouldn't even write that because he doesn't know anything about magic. He says, I know of no item that shows you the past of anything that you think of. For ten gold, that is insulting. But you you should you should go sleep, yes. To look or leans in. I looked at this thing, saw myself, and thought about myself. Also, I love you. How do I know whether or not that works or not? Think about it. You uh, gave me the instructions of this thing. After you gave me it, therefore, set terms and conditions have now changed. He he nods, understanding uh, where he's coming from, and he writes down again. And if the properties were true, uh, price question mark. Thirty gold. It's a fun trinket to have for certain, but. Barring that, I see. I see no practical use for it myself. Or for anyone. Unless you are a highly suspicious individual who is paranoid about everything. He nods. He's like, okay. Fun for he's, gonna, uh, put, he's gonna put that back in his pocket. 
Uh, Fun for spelunking, but my spelunking days are over. Mm. He's going to look around the shop, make sure no one's watching. Mm. He's going to reach into his bag like he's pulling out a uh, prohibited item. He's going to grab the, tal- uh, the tabby cat plushie, put it on the table. <laughs> Oh, that's so adorable! <laughs> no way you're selling that! <laughs> it's the way he treats it like a drug deal. <laughs> <laughs> it could be our party mascot! What did I pull out? The tabby cat one? You pulled yes. out. Uh, I'll say, I, I, I don't know the difference between cats. I'm a dog guy. Uh, yeah, I pulled out the that tabby cat one. If a okay. fan's gonna reach in his bag again and pull out a calico cat plushie. Oh, <gasps> oh cuter! He's gonna put his hand out like well. Yeah, looks it over. You'd be 20 gold a cat. He nods, he nods. <laughs> Twenty gold. Twelve okay. cake. That's forty gold for me. Are we really gonna have to sell those? Yeah. <laughs> sell no. So cats X two. If you if I if I actually wrote down what they were, you wouldn't want them. I, I was just looking at all the shit, because I was trying to see if there was a price with them. Um, there really isn't. Um, remember the tiger that you jumped on, just out of curiosity? Mm, mm, yeah, I do. Yeah. There, there was 500 gold in its stomach. What? Yeah, I've only just seen that part there as I'm looking at it, like... Poof, no wonder that weird jaguar went nuts. It's his 500 gold. Oh, whoa. We gotta go back. <laughs> I mean, do we know? No, we don't. I was messing up the room and kicking over cats, but if Scottish didn't say it, we don't know it. Wait, those were like. Those, wait, 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 I'm sorry, kicking over cats? And a weird job. Yeah, I was like. To get called. to. Uh, yeah, to get a mad, to get a mad again and make him get back up, Fane was like kicking over cats and stuff. Oh, they they weren't alive. Okay, I I was confused about that. They could have been. He would have still kicked them. But what he but Luna in all seriousness, what he just gave, what he just gave the guy were two taxidermy cats that was stuffed. Very fine quality. There was there was one freak. He was like there was cat pelts all over the uh, over the wall. You don't you don't want to know the horrors that were in that uh, Is it- like the the village cat went messing. It was that guy's fault. <laughs> don't worry. We uh, we found him though. So we uh, dealt with him accordingly. Looks to us. So. Anything else I can get? It's just been nice having some company in the shop and all, but you know. Can I come uh, in the now? I'm gonna. Yeah, sure. You could have. You could have. You want to buy something? Yeah. You, uh, I well, want, I want to do a variety of things. Clifton, did you add five hundred forty gold to your sheet? Yes. Okay. Let me make sure that Melano has hers as well. I don't have access to Melano's sheet. I do have Melano. She has 540 extra gold. And Renard needs his as well. Oh, did he add that? He needs 740 total. I don't know how Melano is is like, so I cannot say, like, oh, I'll pay for it. Because I think that would be kind of mean if Melano is not somebody that wants to play for, like, pay for others. And like lose yeah. all their money on a friendship thing if they're not very social. Uh, I don't know the character. The I'm just kind of like dragging them along. 
Does he still have the box of potions up? Yep. Yeah, also. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look through them, see if I can find anything I want. Yeah. Oh, there was a clear liquid with a toenail in it. A clear liquid with a toenail in it. There's another one of a bright amber color that seems to seems to be very tumultuous. Uh, I've got to find like a shit ton of potions now. Uh, there's a green one in there. The I pick up three. Yep. I pick up those three and I bring them over to the counter and I put them down in front of them and I uh I basically ask him, does he know what e any of these are? There we go. Took a while, but yeah, there are so many fucking potions that's on now. <laughs> so you know, looks at the first one. Well, what's the first one that you get actually? Oh no. Yeah, your camera. Yeah. Look at that one there. Pass it over. That's uh. <laughs> It's a very powerful potion indeed. Gives one the strength of ten men. Or so they say. He, he uh, yeah, I like that. It's cool. We're gonna put that one to the side. Uh, the amber potion next. Ah! Uh, I was told that the batch that this came from was quite spicy, to be honest. Uh, as for what they meant by that, they... They wouldn't show me here. Said it was a uh, too dangerous an environment. Understandable. Okay, we know what that is. Push that over to the side because I've drank in one of them before in this campaign. Wait, we have. <laughs> have you? What is I that? have. It's a potion of fire breathing. I drank. Oh, I gave man. one. I gave one to Renard, and I had one, and we downed them, and we like. That was really early. Final one that and you that's The green one. That's just acid. Just a standard acid there, mate. It's nothing, uh, nothing special the, about it, really. I'm going to put the acid to the side, get the two that I put up, and I'm going to write on paper. Uh, price if I buy these together. Oh, let me get the name. I say. <clears throat> let me give me the give me the the bulk discount. The discount in this economy. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Right there we go. Kill. 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 Right. So why don't you show me that one to begin with? Mm -hmm. oh. See, looks mm -hmm. first one. So, uh, okay, the second one was a portion of. There you go. Yep. Uh, this one here. Uh, the looks. Oh, do you both for four hundred? Five hundred, sorry, Ooh. five hundred. One of them alone. Oh. One of them alone is right. worth 400. Mm. Okay. Um, he writes on the paper, do you have any more interesting items that I'd be... That'd be useful for an adventure? Hmm... 
interesting or magical properties, having or can be used in a clutch situation. Give me a minute. Is he? Starts rifling under the table. At this point here, I'm just running through source books, y'all. <laughs> Won't let you see the source books, but I'm rifling through them. Give me something macabre from freaking... I don't know. It's a completely different universe. You just get Exodia. All five pieces. But in the BDSM position. Yes, yeah, so give, uh, give Thane ODM gear. No, you get Exodia. Like, all five pieces of Exodia. Give him a couple thunder spheres too. And uh, the master sword. Uh, hold on just to. I could have sworn I answered that. Could have sworn I answered. Okay, I answered that. It's just that there are. What? One. <clears throat> Oh, this one. Oh. Let's go take a look at some sheets real quick. Okay. He comes oh. out, pulls up this blue looking sob. It's only a short sword. Okay. You can see these intricate carvings of all manner of elements on the blade. Pieces that seem to wave in and out before craggling out, before immediately juttising out in curls before once more soothing off once more. See, an odd symbol etched into the handle. Hmm. I'd be inclined to give you this, but I don't feel you can afford it. Um, Fane thinks for a second, and he, uh... Since this is since this paper that he's currently using is probably full, 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 he's gonna switch to another one. And he goes, uh, "Is there any service in conjunction with money that you would trade it for?" Unzips his trousers. Uh, and, uh, oh, we're going to hell. Writes, he, writes in, <laughs> he writes in parentheses in a business sense. <laughs> Ruby, you're from the Netherlands, right? Yes. That's a business thing, right? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Why does it, it me having it being you know, Dutch yeah. have to do with anything? Oh, I'm going to... Quickly I mean, to... yes, it is a, a bigger, bigger part, a bigger business in some cities in here. Yes, it is mostly legalized, but like, it's yeah, it's very much a legit business. Um, Luna kind of looks over after like hearing the um, shopkeeper much... read it out loud, yeah, and like cool. before Why seeing no? the parentheses, kind of just like winks to to watch the shopkeeper. <laughs> So damage <laughs> out of character. I don't want to reveal that she's a changeling, but otherwise you would have said, "I'll be whatever you want." <laughs> for a nice sword, I'll be whatever you want for a night. 
<laughs> that was actually like a pretty fucking reputable, um, not reputable, but I'm pretty fucking uh, prolific industry. Like, you're an animal shapeshifter. This is D and D, and there will be somebody who wants to fuck said animal. Oh, I not just animals. I can be anything. That is even more prolific, and honestly, I can be your mom. Some people are into that. Yeah, that's why I said it. You know, ah, I've got so much. Needs. Because Matthew's speaking from experience. I'd rather she be got it. Uh, well, you should. The looks. I don't feel that's one that would be um. There is nothing that you could do. I'll be honest. This is a very what is he Napoleon piece. However, there is this. He places the sword down on the table, and you hear this just kind of seem to hum off of it. He comes under and he pulls out this almost skimpily, scantily destroyed piece. As he does, he looks at you. This, I can tell you right now, is not half plate. What I can tell you is this comes from a time long, long before man, back when man were but slave. This particular piece imbued with druidic and elemental powers. Ooh! I mean, uh, that sounds very interesting. She, she almost Scram like Luna almost scrambles like what? not be too too perked up on the um on the 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 the, the, the druidic mention. Back in the age of dreams long before the cataclysm when the new people of Kryn bore first breath this though it may not look it is the armor of the gods, imbued with their own powers. As you watch as he, you know, puts his hands in and turns it inside out. You see a rune. Rather odd rune. One that you definitely have. I don't think anyone here has ever seen before. Let me check some language Uh That would be negative. language is negative. it? That'd be giving away way too much. Uh, Celestial. Yeah, uh, surprisingly not. Also, also Celestial, you'll be surprised how many people actually know that in this campaign. <laughs> I do. Uh... Exodus knows. Oh yeah, I've t <laughs> Celestial <laughs> coming Elvic. The only difference between Melano and Luna is Druidic and self Draconic. I don't think he's here right now though. Exodus! But it looks a little something like this. I'm going to draw it in the corner over here. Very shakily, by the way. But as best as I can do. As you see that embroidered into the back of it. It's the only intact piece that is there. Uh, what would the, some like an intricate piece like this cost? Well, I'd... Okay, so I'm just I'd give it to you again. Four. Oh, I'm going to make 
I don't see if it's actually worth it for anyone. I mean, it's really armor. I think, from a roleplay perspective, fuck yes. From a mechanical perspective. Mm. I mean, what does it, do, do? Do you know what it does? Maybe. It was said that with this particular piece of armor, once the wearer had it on and once they were familiar with it, it almost seemed to meld into the skin, become invisible, like the wind. And for it, the wearer could, upon any time, call upon the wind drive a barrier between them and their foes. Mm, but it is classed as armor, mechanically wise, because otherwise you would say melanin, maybe. It's, yeah, it's classed as, uh, it's classed as light armor, sadly. Ooh, yeah, no, that's, that's a rough one. Like I said, mechanically. Mechanically, it's hot garbage, what you're saying. I don't know, I mean, that fucking... <whistles> the thing in there... I actually don't know what that thing does. Gotta go to um, the pendulums and find out. Fan rates on the paper. How much is this sword? TPP spells, okay. Rules, tables, what the f fuck? Where are my spells? One sec, um... It's, I'm just curious. Hmm... Oh, that's pretty, oh wow, that's actually pretty fucking decent. The sword. The sword I would require a lot more than you can offer that you're aware of. Uh, Shane said, right, to elaborate on the paper. I could. Also, oh well, yeah, if you, if you can elaborate first, or ask more questions, because I had a oh, dumb I, idea. I didn't say I would. I oh. said I could. Ah, uh, well, I was wondering. This might be really stupid, <laughs> but would it be possible to uh, reinforce the the armor a bit, the druidic armor? You know. Put some plates of metal on it to basically to mechanically make it medium armor with a better AC. Because I need a close range weapon for whenever things get close to me and the whip doesn't really work no more. I mean, if there's a 10 foot reach, there's a 5 foot reach. It's not like the lance that you got in, uh, which got. It's not like the lance that you got or the pike in Avernus. You can hit someone at five foot. You can hit someone at ten foot. Mechanically, it's the same. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Unless it states mm -hmm. otherwise, which it doesn't. So you know. You didn't it say range weapon? No, it says it's got a fight. It says it's got range, but range is just a property. Uh, okay. Halberd halberds have range, but there's nothing. There's nothing in it's, the halberd that says... Isn't it says, reach instead of range? Reach, yeah. Reach. But yeah. there's nothing in the halberd stat block, for example, that states you can't hit a target five foot away from you. Because there's literally nothing stopping you from grabbing it higher up the shaft and just hitting someone with it. Yeah, no, like, it, it's a it's a reach weapon or ranged weapon. Okay, gotcha. I'm back. What'd I miss? Nothing. A lot, a lot of haggling, let's be honest. There's a... Whew, the magic that I'm in the source books. I'm in the source books, mate. I'm uh, I'm I'm talking to him about a story that I could possibly get, but he's okay. not trying to tell me. He's not trying to tell me the price. I'm Apparently, trying to get than... some magic armor and try to haggle with the DM to make it medium armor. <laughs> Sim simply put, it's impossible. I'll, I'll tell you right now. Mecha hmm? Mechanically, it's impossible. Because of what it does and how it is, making it anything other than light armor, then takes something that is as light as air and makes it not that light. 
Yeah, that's fair. Uh, see, Jiru Jiru. Ooh. I am also going to haggle on some things whenever it is my turn. <laughs> I need magic weapons. Taking tur turns being a cheap whore. <laughs> don't, don't we all. No, I'm looking to spend money. I'm Call that, that's a good ba gangbang. Uh, anyway. Also looking to get yeah. a he puts this in a little coat hanger or such, hangs it up. Um, Exodus, I'll say right now, you saw a rune. And when you saw the rune on the back of this thing, you were the only one in the room that could read it. I will privately DM you what it was. Uh, what item is this? It's a almost, it looks practically destroyed piece of armour, said to be extremely rare and powerful. What kind of armor is it? That's bad. as much as he gave. That was the no, I mean, like, what, what you saw written. I don't see the type of armor. It just looks like Blood. looks like absolutely fucking nothing. May as well have been a bikini for all you care. Ah, so it's like just so tattered. It could have been shredded breastplate or shredded full plate. You don't know. It was that shredded. Yeah, it was the fucking lining, like anything. Anyway. It looks empty. Um, Let's piss this backy. He grabs, his, he grabs yourself by the arm there, Fane. Oh, okay. Something that you'd maybe want. However, he, uh, he, he nods like I'm listening. However, I can guarantee you it's going to cost you everything. He's going to be confused by what he means. By, by everything. He leans under once more and you watch as he starts pulling up this very thin, very long, multicolored, rainbow like piece of clothing. As he does, he starts bringing it up blue, white, red. Green, bronze, cobalt, amethyst. It just Is that keeps the coat of many colors from the Bible? No, it's the one his mama made for him. You I'm a Dolly Parton. <laughs> As he looks. I reckon you could be doing with this well. After all, an adventurer like you, you're not wearing anything. You have no armor. Uh, I reckon that this particular thing would be. Very useful to you. The <laughs> taps at your coin purse. Okay. He, he throws it round and starts kind of wrapping it very loosely on you. Ties it. This would be very nice on you. You'd be the star of the show. Whoosh, rips it back. You, you watch as this thing goes from where he is and just narrowly misses Melano on the back end. I'm the favorite! Is he trying to sell something or should do somebody? I don't know. <laughs> What's that thing? Either way, it's working. <laughs> I'm sorry. People are yelling in the background. Alright, what, what was that thing you just showed? A piece of colorful. Like, what was that? Very piece of colorful. Material, very long, multiple colours. Fane, as you watched as he was bringing it round and looking, upon closer inspection, it was scaled. Hmm. I can't wear armour, though. I didn't say it was armour. Oh, he said a, a venture like you, like, oh, okay. Is he offering it? <laughs> He's trying to show you it. Okay. He, he nods like he's interested. I'm, I'm listening. He reaches down and uncuffs your coin purse and places it on the table. And he starts to roll <laughs> this up into a nice taut wad. It's, it's about four inches thick by the time he's done. Mm. He places that over to you and takes the coin purse. Takes my coin purse? Puts it both, puts it, it hasn't like started decanting it. He's knocked it to the side, he's pushed that to you and he looks at you, raises an eyebrow. 
Uh, I doubt you'll be disappointed. I wonder what he does in his free time after work. <laughs> he's got, he's got, he's got a thigh. Like Are there red please. candles? <laughs> and he's going to write on the piece of paper, considering the caliber of the items that you showed me already. I'll trust you. So you trade all of your money for this particular item? Yeah, just hope it's not a colorful string. Go into the plutonium. So wipe all of your money. Go into okay. the pl go into the plutonium importer, and add an item, dragon hide belt plus two. Uh, before you do that, make sure he includes a new corn purse in the trade. <laughs> he's, he's empties all the money out and gives that back. I'll let you know what this does right now as well. This finely Character detailed medicine. belt is made a uh, uh, plutonium import. This finely made detailed belt is made of dragon hide. While wearing it, you gain a bonus to the saving throws of your key features. The bonus is determined by the belt's rarity. In addition, you can use an action to regain key points equal to a roll of your martial arts die. You can only do this once per day. Yeah, I like that. That was probably worth it. That sounds mm -hmm. good. That sounds like you got hooked up, bro. I feel that. I, I saw that. I was looking at all the things and I'm like, you know what? That's actually a good item. It's like, uh, what is it, the Bloodwell vial for sorcerers, maybe? Yes. Considering... Uh, well, Considering no, the Bloodwell vial is just like a plus one to, to both spells. What's the sorcerer one again? Uh, what, what do you mean? What, what do you need sorcerers for? No, I just mean in general. There's one that's like... There's one that's particularly Warlock as well. And there's one that's oh yeah, you have uh, Rod of the Backkeeper, one of the War Mage, Amulet of the Devout. I think those are the spellcasting buffs, or Tomb of something. Wizard bullshit. I don't care about. Does anyone else have anything to trade, or is it my turn? You also have one of the War Mage, but that is inferior. So, uh, have you added that to your sheet yet, Jalen? I have not. I'll get it on for you this night. Yep. Uh, barely. I have not. I'm adding a plus the, uh, two. The plutonium in the uh, entire page just crashed on me. So that can happen from time to time. So I've added the plus two dragon hide belt to you. So there you go, bro. Thank you, thank you. I will then move you away as you are what the kids call broadcast bitch. <laughs> Me. How much time do we have left of this session? Uh, probably going to have another half hour or so. Is there anything you're wanting to buy or such, by the way? This is a good point for all that. I have state, uh, tried to state a few times earlier oh. and I put it in the chat about an hour ago um, that I have a few things I wanted to do. Oh, you should... Um, I keep Discord, but just whisper me these things, but yeah, uh, you... Um... Come on up, what do you um, to do in there? Exodus has an idea of what they want to buy, and my stuff is regarding money, but like also different, so I want Exodus to go ahead. You, you've sat quiet long enough, mate. You've sat quiet long enough. Oh, still, I would like Exodus to go ahead. Also, the, there's one more item that's a Moonsickle that gives a plus one to spell mods for a Druid and Ranger, I believe. Not mm -hmm. sure about Ranger, but now it's for Druids. Exodus. All right, um, I'm just looking to see what they have in terms of magical weaponry and if they have the skills to identify magical equipment. I would like uh, a few things, or two things identified. Look, sir. I don't have the ability to, uh, to do these particular things. I, uh... I have a buddy. <laughs> Got a buddy I can call in. <laughs> <coughs> I think it licks. I'm uh, just a fighter myself. I uh, have no powers of the divine. Mm. Uh, May have better luck maybe asking someone maybe elsewhere. Lavender may have something but they are reluctant to speak to those who 
become of Chased Cloister. Is that, is that a sex thing? No. Affiliations with certain things. You missed all the sex stuff. <laughs> uh, no. That's also no one magical weaponry. I've got a few, but price wise, it's um, very much a iffy for certain. Your friend couldn't afford many of the things I had, but I also have some mundane, if that's what you're looking for. No, I'm looking for magical, and I do have something to trade as well. If the you have something that catches my eyes, and he would remove the bracelet, which again is awkward because you don't actually see him wearing the bracelet. You just see him reach to his arm, twist something, and then off comes the bracelet. Bracelet of rock magic? Yep, the bracelet of rock magic, he would say. And then he would uh, describe its properties in uh, full detail as he knows them, as he is not the, it's gonna scam this man. This man's been pretty brief. As he looks at that. Of one thing that may work for you, but <sighs> tell you right now, it's uh, it set you back like your friend. Everything. He points to a sword that he has stuck on the counter. And you look at it, it's a greeny blue sword, short sword. You see initially this waving pattern that seems to jettison out to almost craggly. <laughs> Fucking die! Fly. I thought that was lightning sound effects. <laughs> I thought you were doing it for like. <laughs> no, there's been like, a fucking like... fly this whole time. <laughs> Is it wavy to then these crackings, this jutison wave once more that seems to come out and curl up in on itself before once more passing forth and through. I hope I got all of the types in there, but yeah, we'll go with those four. Fuck it. Z looks at you. Again, it would cost you everything plus that. Plus, you do me. As even your friend over there with his nice new colourful belt couldn't afford it, and he was flush. <clears throat> but nod his head. Oh, you're willing to make a deal. We can. Certainly, look into it. What would you say? Well, I have stated the properties of this bracelet, which are quite valuable to some. What does the sword do, if you know, or have any accounts of its record? I can tell you the sword's pedigree, if you'd like. That's a big word. I would like to know. Back in a time when mankind were but a fledgling race in this world. Back during the age of dreams, this particular thing was crafted by the man using the powers latent in the land by their enslavers. This is one of few remaining relics. And I am a avid collector of relics. I always say, and you have been... You have been bountiful with your coin purses. I would consider us business partners. He takes it and into the ground, into the particular wood with it. And as he does, you watch with very little effort as it goes in. Huge crack. It's down to the hilt. And he put no more effort into it than throwing a dart. I will proceed to take off my money. <laughs> <laughs> I will proceed to whore myself out, is the words you are looking for. Yes, uh, so 
Was this my coin purse uh, plus the bracelet? Uh, the bracelet plus an additional little thing later on. Hmm. Only for yourself. Yeah, sure. Do you not use the importer? Uh, I, I, I think so. so. I could. Uh, so I'm gonna look at it. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna describe this to you, and then I'm gonna mm -hmm. then you, you'll immediately realize why Fane was the worst option for this weapon. I guess what it is. Rocket, rocket. Is it? No, no, I don't know. Those are legendary. No, no, I don't know actually. It's from this yeah, book. No, I don't know. I'm it's using my new books. What book is that? I can see the title. Big Bay presents Glory of the Giants. Ooh, Glory of the Giants. I it's never the, read that book. That's because it's only just out. <clears throat> the Bloodshed Blade. Oh. You can add your Constitution modifier to the damage rolls of this weapon. Meaning, the weapon, plus the modifier, plus your constitution. Now, Fane's... That, that would make this like a plus six weapon in Fane's hand. Holy shit. It is a plus yeah. one weapon in my hands. Fuck. No, it's mod plus con. So your mod is dex. Plus con. Well, mod is charisma. Yeah, it's three oh. plus one. The three, three so plus one. It's, a, it's, it's a, plus. essentially a plus one weapon for me. Uh. I thought you. I thought you were dex. Oh yeah, because rule. No, I'm charisma, but that's just because of the pack thing. But even then, I, my con is plus one. Well, we have the additional invoking rune. Yep. Uh, the other thing being offered, I'll just point it out, was Zephyr Armor. Which I'll go over in a moment uh, as well. A Zephyr Armor, um, white and silver, bears a wind rune upon its chest. Whilst wearing it, you have advantage on acrobatics and dexterity saves. Um, you can also cast Wind Wall once per day. DC 15. <clears throat> uh, what type of armor was it, by the way? That was only light. It was only, only light. light. It was it was really annoying because I, I would have loved mm. to have given it as like something else, but mechanically no, with it, that it doesn't work. Yeah, it makes sense. also wants to do some shopping. Um, uh, this rune. Um, if the so invoke the rune. Uh, you can invoke the sword rune, causing it to flare with a crimson light and infusing your attack with a bloodthirsty precision. You spend, you then spend and roll one of your unspent hit die and add that number to the attack. You can choose to invoke the rune after knowing the d20. If the attack hits, you can also spend any roll of any unspent hit die and then add it to the total roll of the damage. Can't do it again until the next dawn. Uh, uh, that last bit you said is basically like a it's basically like a smite but with hit dice. Yes. Oh my days. Now that, that part does interest me. Now I could I could sp I mean I don't know how many level up more we have in the next few levels I might get a maybe one more. I'll, I'll be I'll be honest. I think these are actually very early leveled. Okay, because it tells you where you should be getting your levels. Okay. All right. But it says in this chapter the characters advance from six until eighth. I'm gonna let you know right now. You have hit none of the milestones and you're level seven, so I've I've leveled you somewhere early. Got to have, right? Got to have. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, once you're done the northern, I know when you're done the northern west. Just before you get to the end, you'll know because I'll give you the level up then. Yeah. Uh, is everybody else done with shopping? Clifton. Clifton no, sat patiently. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, uh... Um. I guess I don't know what the thing does, so I guess I buy it. Just wait, I'll add it now. Clifton, what's up, my guy? Alright. So, first... Uh... You, you know what, I'm just gonna, um, just gonna get this out of the way, because I doubt I'll be able to do anything. 
Do you have any um, weapons of the longsword variety that you would think would be particularly used to adventurers? Um, do you have, well, rather, what is your stock on healing potions looking like? To start off. So, the, so I'm going to add a bloodshed blade to yourself there real quick. Um, well, bloodshed blade was a short sword. Um, okay, bloodshed, short sword. And there's nothing... I'll say this now. There's nothing that says you cannot use it as a packed weapon. So... Right here. God. Yeah, no, I, I like it. Is that saying? Yep. Oh, it's, uh, it's also attunement based, so good thing we're getting rid of these bracers. Yes. <laughs> as he looks around his box once more. Uh, still got a few more healing potions, aye aye. Um, what size are you looking for? I've still got one of these big boys and three of these little boys and kind of little wolverine claw test tube ones and this slightly bigger gluggier type one. Oh, let me look up the different types and IV quickly. 34 plus 2, 44 plus 4. Okay, so I would like to see if you have, um, in particular, greater healing or superior healing. I think this is it. I'm gonna hold up the big one. You hear the glum of the liquid. Oh, he thinks that's the. Oh, so he doesn't know which ones are which. He doesn't particularly know they're old, but you know the other ones are test tubes to comparison, and this one's like a almost triang, like one of those triangular beakers, the kind of bigger ones. Mm -hmm. Not like a not okay. like a, a pokeball. But bigger like an again. Flask? Like a what? Earl of Meyer flask. Are those the ones that are kind of like triangle, but like cone shaped with like the neck? Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Does he have any that look bigger than that? That is his biggest. How many is? Luna have? got away with the bigger one. No, that's the same size as what well, Luna has. Hmm. That's the same size one as Luna has. Yeah, but there was only one of the, the, the bigger ones, no? Of the one I bought. For two fifty. Oh, I yeah. got superior. Oh yeah. Drop it down drop it down one. Greater. It's bulbous. Sorry. It's been like three hours. It's it's a fat bulbous one that you can hold in his hand very easily. And three smaller ones that kinda of fit between his knuckles as test tubes. Oh, gotcha. Okay, That's, um Does lower the pricings, hmm. however. Yes. Um, I would like to ask him what his, uh, I guess, how much would he be willing to let one of the little ones go for? Ah, oh, these are how flat. much for a group sale? Flat standard fifty for these things. Hmm. It's I the. Ask him if I'm, hmm? It's the price that the mages of high sorcery union are forcing us to sell them for. The mages have unionized. Uh, Okay. Well, wouldn't they sell it themselves for less because he still need to turn a profit on those potions? No, we buy, we buy them in for the same price as well. We buy them in for 45 each. We have to sell them for 50. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah. Fuck Gotta make mages. sure that the, the hard worker gets profit out of his actions, you know? Fucking mages. Old man and great cloud. <laughs> I would like to ask the shopkeep if, um, if he minds if I, um, you know, just pick one up. You know, I'm still going to hold it over the counter. I'm going to hold it, like, with one hand. Yep. And I'm going to just ask if I could pick it up and inspect it. Yeah. Rocks the hand over to you to pick one out. No All right. You. I'll pick up a small one, and I'm going to look at it, and I'm going to concentrate for a little bit. And actually... This just doesn't have much bearing, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, could I roll? What would I? What would I roll to kind of, I guess, uh, consult um, specifically um, within my patrons' range of um, knowledge? If I could be blessed with some knowledge about, like, you know, I guess how good this is. And and I'm saying this knowing full, knowing full well that it doesn't fucking matter. I'm just asking if I could do that, and if I could make a save. 
A safe is usually a bad thing. I'll let you make a check. Well, it's not a safe, my bad. Um, bu 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 Ar arcana or religion? E either one will work, but the specifics of the information you get would be different. All right. I would like to roll religion first, and then I would like to cast guidance on myself and roll arcana. What are the other here? Oh, just one of the other. Okay, got you. Then I'll just cast... I'll, um, I'll give you guidance hmm? on either one. I'll give you guidance in either one, though. All right, bet. Um, let's see. So, verbal, somatic, uh, components. Um, what, what are the components of this? Oh, okay, so I'll, he hears me. That's concentration, my bad. Yeah, he, I mutter a little something to myself and look at this. And, I'm, and I want to intermix the muttering of the spell with, um, you know, like, comments about color and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. There's guidance. And then... Religion. Mm. And then uh, D4. Oh, beautiful. As you consult your god on this one, giving it a think, feeling through... The magic is there in this. There's definitely an alchemical magic with faith imbued, but even for the potion's age, however old it may be, and you can tell that it is quite old, the magic has sustained a constant ever since. This potion could be 300 years old and predate the cataclysm, but your god knows it's going to work. It's imbued with her type of magic after all. Alright, thank you. It, it's shelf stable. <laughs> Clifton's going to wrinkle his brow, look at it for a second, and then uh, give it back to him and say, I'm sorry, um, I think I'll have to do without. And I want to say, and say and reply to him, thank you, and then ask him uh, um, what about the uh, weapons question he had asked. Uh... A weapon of your kind of selling us selling us up a ship here, I'll be honest. Oh Got nothing Nothing new at them unless you want this plus one dagger. <laughs> oh, it, doesn't to, it doesn't need to be like a like a long like a like, like, so it doesn't need to be a magical weapon. If he just has like a plus one long sword, hell I'll take that. Plus one long the, 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 plus, the plus is magical. Oh, right. Never mind. Forgot the. I'm new to magic weapons. I usually <laughs> don't get to have shit. Um, anyway. I'm yeah. new to being this generous. Don't worry. I don't usually give out this shit. Oh, uh, okay. Then I, I want to ask him, um, and I'm, uh, I'm asking him if he, um, if he, uh, um, if I can sell stuff to him if it's good quality and meets the standards. Uh, I can take anything. Uh, let's see what you've got. All right. I'd like to unbuckle and offer him the regular longsword. <laughs> the regular longsword I have. Thank you. Take any licks. Asha, how is nice as What? I'll give you um, just... 10 gold for that. Good. And gold. And gold. You know what? Um, what the fuck? Okay, the sheep was missing. I'm missing it. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know what? I will. I will take that. And I off. And I will off. How do I offload this from my fucking sheep? And I'll throw ten gold in. There you go. Oh, thank you. Wait, you took the long sword. Oh, there it is. Okay. Good. Well, long sword. Um. Thank you. And I would also, uh, I'm asking, does he have any, um, does he, or does he, does he have, or does he know anybody, um, know of a Fletcher in the village, or in the area that would offer, um, bows? I can, I've got a few bows here. She, well, she's kind of starts, 
putting up. You see all manner of weird and wonderful bows in there. Some cracked long bows, some very nice looking long bows, some that seem to have this odd twisting and turning to them. Even ones where the top seems to be that of dragon heads of multiple colours. Mm. Uh, hmm. Oh, shit, I'm not looking for anything super special, but um, I I want to ask him uh, if he has um, something, that, you know, just anything you know, a bit better than the average longbow that he would consider suitable for an adventure looking to mix up their, uh, their arsenal. Well, how much you got to spend? Well, I've got a little bit. Um, I was also wondering, even if you don't have anything, you know, special, you know, a regular longbow and a quiver full of arrows will do. And I can also leverage this against the cost, and I would like to, um, uh, I, I don't know, Fuck it. I just put my long, put my light crossbow on the counter, as well as the eleven bolts in the case. Z grabs the bow. One of them from the table. As he does. He watches it as the one of dragons' heads. As he picks up and holds it to the light. He takes a breath in and you watch as he seems to elate. He does toss it to his left hand and holds it firm. Do you want to see a magic trick? Sure. As he holds the bow up, grabs the string with his other hand, <gasps> breathes in, stands to the side and stares at you with the bow off to the side. String drawn. You know how they say, never dry fire a bow? Mm hmm. Tell me. Do you think this would be shocking? And he does. I've seen many things. But... He lets it go. And as he lets this go, you watch as just. <laughs> narrowly. Narrowly misses fate. This arcane lightning bolt straight from the arrow. Or tell me. As he draws the bow once more and does the same look, and looks at yourself. It's your friend over there. He's his head towards Exodus. You think he's a bit hot? I'm hot. <laughs> then cool that? down as what? you watch his, his ice arrow seems to fly off, narrowly missing yourself as well. Just, as you see the trail of ice seem to crumple down. Not once Whoa. have you witnessed this man pull an arrow every time he loses the string. An elemental arrow fires forth. That's pretty kinky. That's da -da. Um, <laughs> it's just the way Ruby said that. Clifton is going to um, applaud the man thoroughly and genuinely and ask him um, one, how much does he sell it for? And two, do you think it would work with regular arrows? Not necessarily the incantation, but just do you think the bow would fire regular arrows? Is it fit to do so? It doesn't need arrows. I'm just asking. It would, but it doesn't need them. Hmm. Could you humor me and sell me some with it? Providing, of course, I have the money for such an extraordinary object. <sighs> See. To breath in. Do you not just love it when the books never give you any fucking what? Uh... Do you do anything? There's a range for this though. Hmm. Hmm. 
Z. Lean Zen. I'll give you it for free. But you need to do me a favour as well. A big favour. it's within my capability. You may deny uh, this dark. I think tonight we all should meet after Ooh. dark. There's something in it for all of you. At least those who have not lined my coin purse already. I warn you. Tis a perilous journey that I shall send you upon. But Arch. you do this for me. You as well go down in history. I guess what we will leave this session. 